Alright guys, Full Hammer here and welcome back to episode 2 of our Emirate campaign. This is with update 3.0 with the arrival of the Chaos Dwarves. Last episode we have probably the closest battle I've ever fought. Um, going to siege the Black Fortress and we didn't quite make it unfortunately. So we're going to have to see if we can actually get out of the way now and somehow recover from this. We did lose our Dragon Princes. We almost lost our Dragon as well. So yeah, we're in a bad spot. Hopefully they don't have an army nearby here to come and attack us, or else we probably might be screwed. Okay, what do we want to spend on this goal? I think we'll save up for units. See if there's anything we can recruit in one turn. Nope, not quite. Alright, what do we want to do with Emmerich, though? Make him stronger, because we get Manathnir at level 14. Hmm. He's still pretty good at the start, so let's just go with more army upgrades. And we'll go with Burning Head. Behold my courage. Yeah, we are kind of in a rough spot right now. We'll see what happens right now, whether... Yeah, having said, they probably had another army coming for us. Oh, why couldn't we retreat from this? Because we weren't in March Dance. Yeah, that's... uh. There's no way we can win that, though. Yeah, we couldn't retreat from that, though, for some reason. Oh, well, there goes Emmerich and our dragon. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll have to see what we if we can recover from this, then. Because he's got one and a half armies. And we've got no armies. And we lost our mage as well. Okay. We need to get a noble. Alright, ammunition in region or pigeon chest. We'll do the minus physical resistance. In the meantime, we'll get a archmage that we'll start building up. Let's go with lore of life. Put one for phoenixes. I don't think we're going to keep phoenixes around very much, so we might as well do that one. High elven archmage. And we're just going to go all Lothian Sea Guard. Now we can't. We don't have enough to do global. Yet, so we'll have to wait on that one. It's going to be a few turns of just recruiting, unfortunately. Maybe we do go for the Dark Hold instead of trying to hit the Black Fortress right away. We may have to redo this campaign, actually. That was very, very, very close. We almost had the siege battle. It was by the, the Mortars. And they're like infinite winds of magic that killed us. Trained by the White Tower. We're just gonna go full Lothian Sea Guard. Our ma winds of magic are going down at the same time, though. That's a, a pain. Okay, we can get rid of the entertainment building now and go for something else in there. Oh, he's coming right there. Okay, we gotta be quick. Hmm. Stupid Drazo with the Ashen. Gosh. Okay, we don't have Emmerich back yet. Yeah, unfortunately we're losing Winds of Magic too, which that is really a bunch of problems for us. How soon can we get Emmerich? Two more turns, I'm going to guess. Yeah, two more turns. Yeah, that sucked. We were so close. Let's go for... Naval Discipline, since we actually are going to have some Lothurn Sea Guards. Let's do that one. And I don't think he can reach us in one turn. Oh, and he hasn't... Oh, he can reach us in one turn. Okay, maybe if we can defeat him in the siege battle, then we should be okay. I think he had some Kadai Fireborn. He doesn't have the Dreadquake Mortar either in this, so it should be alright. Oh, we don't get our... 
Oh, that sucks. We didn't get our listen sea guard. Okay. We're gonna recruit another army over here. And hopefully get there in time where we can help out. Let's go with floor of high magic. I like high magic. Um, we'll do the reduce income. And we are immune to attrition, I believe. Or maybe it doesn't count for... Right, maybe she doesn't count for attrition from being encircled. So, what about these? What did this give us? The right of Eljazor gives us a bunch of buffs for dragon bridges. We lost those, but the Vol's hammer might be good. So that'll let us destroy some of their towers instantly during siege battles. Okay, we can blade of sea gold for 100... Wow, 100 armor piercing damage. That's really good. The Blessed Tone gives a passive plus 8 leadership round. We don't really need that because the High Elves have good leadership. Normally I'd go for this one um, because I like the AoE buffs. But... Yeah, let's go for that one actually. We'll put it on our... Noble. Yeah, most of their army's garbage, so it shouldn't be too bad to deal with. Let's see if they attack this turn, though, before we get Emmerich back. Nope. Hmm. Quite a difficult campaign. You have a very, very strong army, or enemy that starts right next to you now. He always had uh, Clan Lictus, Clan Lictus, Clan Rictus. Okay, Emric, let's put you back. High Elven Archmage. Behold the pride of Caledon. Hey, why didn't they recruit on this? That's really strange. High Elven Archmage. Okay, Let's see if we'll get one more chance at this, whether they're going to go right for our second lord right there. Okay, if they're not going to. Okay, they, we besieged them and lost. Now we're going to make them lose. I think this is definitely winnable. And we have a good map for it, too. The only things I'm worried about are magic from Drazoth and the Kadai Fireburn. We can shoot them to death pretty well. We don't have a mage, unfortunately, to deal with all the orc laborers, but... Where are the Kadai? Castor Fourriers... Okay. Emric is on his horse. So, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get on the walls and help at all. But we will stick some guys over here just so we can get the max amount of damage from our towers going out. Same thing over here. Oh, I guess we have those as well. Oh, we need some over here. Let's go for Castor Four Years. What about over here? Hit the... Yeah, let's kill those blunderbusses before they can do too much damage. And once they're in range of the Kadai, then we'll have our archers start shooting them. Once they get close, though, we gotta retreat off the walls. Oh, we can blow this one up, too. There we go. Loyal. Where are the fire glaives? Oh, right there. Shoot the fire glaives instead. Ooh, and they're gonna do the Curse of Hashet. And Merc can come out and hit him. We're going to try and get as much damage on them as possible. We do have to watch out for the Infernal Guard, though. 
Can you guys pull off? Come back there, retreat. Emmerich. Okay, there's a good hit right there. You have Ah, uh, you need to pull off as well. Come back. It shall be done. Come on, there you go. Get the Star Lance. Hopefully we can get a good charge on him. Yes, there we go. Now we need to get back in before we lose the gates. Come on, attack him. Ah, come on, Emmerich. You could have got there. Okay, we almost have enough for some good towers over here. You guys start pulling back. Because they're almost at the gate, so we have to get there before the gates go down. Come on. Alright, we can get some good towers pretty soon. We're gonna get this one first. Oh, there's the Dreadquick Mortar. I thought it was only in friendly territory. Man! Oh, that really, really sucks. Ooh. They have one more shot of those. Okay, that means we have to be really, really careful. Hey, don't get trapped, Emmerich. Drazo down to where we can start attacking him. Yeah, let's go after him. I will claim it. He has lots of armor and really good melee defense, so Prince he's going to be quite a pain to take down. Why well, should I use this other uh, hammer of all? Maybe we can hit them over here. Ooh, those good eye are catching up, though. Let's bring our noble. Oh, what are you guys getting caught on? Come on, don't stop. All right, you come down and hit them. Okay, they're not going to get away. Let's just shoot these guys to death instead. How you doing, Emmerich? Okay, let's come around for some more charges. I will go. I seek glory. Noble. Master of battle. Getting good hits, Emmerich. Let's come around for another charge while the Star Lance is still active. Okay, we can probably get maybe one more after this one. Oh, we missed. Come on, get a good one from behind. Oh, come on, hit him! Uh, jumping off his model. Oh, and you get hit in return. Let's get some more towers up. Crown Prince moving. Taking position. Law sends me. How did our guys fare over here? Dauntless. It will be done. Yeah, unfortunately those uh archers got caught by the Kadai. Sent by the forge. Let's come and get the Does he have expert charge defense? He does. Okay, but he's moving though, so we did get the attack off. Get him some more from the back. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Emmerich. Oh, what are you getting so hurt by the... Oh, these are great weapons, that's why. Ha! Alright, we'll pull you back. Try to draw them this way. Yeah, we've almost killed off. Okay, he is anti-large, so we can't sit in combat too long with him. How are they not broken yet? They have so low HP. Oop. 
Yeah, we have to be really careful with him, Rick. Come on, attack them. Don't just run into the middle of their formation and not get a charge off. That was really dumb of you, Rick. There we go. Rest my ball. I will claim it, Phoenix Sun. All right, where's another tower we can build? All right, they're going to probably take that one pretty soon, so let's not do that one. You guys can come up and try to hold this. Let's go for some more hit and runs on Drazoth. Okay, they are bringing quite a few units this way, so we may just retreat back with those Sea Guard. Come on. Hit him. Get out of the way. Man, they have a lot of mass, though. Come on, get out of the way. See if he'll turn around. Nope. Come on, charge him. Ah, uh, that freaking sucks. Just pushed him around and then he gets shot. Alright, we're gonna pull him back because he is getting hurt a little bit. Alright, where are they coming from? I'm most of their sides. To victory. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this, but will it be enough to push him back, though? What are you guys doing out here? Come out here. Phoenix Sun. Suffer my love. Okay, we get the Star Lance back in around 25 seconds. Turn some of you guys over here so that you can help against those laborers so they don't take our uh I will claim it. Okay, after that hit we'll go, go for another charge. The Starlight, so we get that massive charge bonus. Plus 60%. That is a ton. The glory of okay, that was a good hit, Imrik. Come around and we'll hit this way so the Infernal Castellan can't shoot us. No, go this way. There we go. Okay, let's get one more charge off before Star Lance goes on cooldown. Yeah, good hit. Uh, he got one minor hit off on us, though. So you can get him from behind. Yeah. Okay, he's going to break pretty soon. How are we doing over here? Oh, they're not looking to charge too much over here. So let's move most of these guys to shoot right there. You can come and shoot over here. Oh, he hasn't killed him yet. Come on. And Nimric did take another hit. Come on, he's got basically one hit left. Oh, we need to retreat Emmerich so he doesn't get shot. Ooh, and he got another hit by Drazoth. What was that? Dark subjugation. Gotta kill him, though. So that he can't come back for a few turns. Let's get the Dragonhorn going. Come on, hit him once in the back and you should get close to dying. Stop pushing him around, Emmerich, hit him. I will go. Locating. Sent by the forge. Come on. You can do it, Emmerich. One more hit. To victory. Come on, you missed him again. A superior 
Okay. He's getting shot, though, so pull back, Emmerich. All right, Noble needs to get into combat before they can shoot him. Oh, they're shooting our spearmen, though. How are we doing over here? Those are Infernal Guard. Let's focus on them. Have one of these guys help Attack. kill the blunderbusses. They've only got basically laborers left. I don't know why we still haven't won. Zero balance of power should be super low. Let's keep him back in the meantime. Fire glaives, come on. They should be going down. Kill the fire glaives, please. Alright, a lot of our guys are running out of ammo, though. But we need to be careful because they will eat Emmerich alive with the anti-large. Okay, they're almost dead. Okay, these Sea Guard can move up this way. Emmerich come and finish them off so that they don't live for the next battle. All the rest of you guys, let's shoot some of those Orc laborers. You keep chasing the blunderbusses. How are they getting away? They have 28 speed and we have 32. Alright, they only have four, so they should die off actually. Same, let's go after some of these orc laborers. We're going to do quite a bunch of damage though, mostly to Drazoth, but... Finish off as many of these guys as we can just to make our life a little bit easier once this battle's over. Okay, that's probably good. Heroic victory. I think that should be like a heroic victory. Killed off the Gedai. We killed off the Blunderbusses. We killed off the Fireglaives. We didn't kill the Castle, and though that's who we should have focused on. I forgot about him. But not too bad. Mm. Yeah, they had so many guys just from all the orc laborers, but we did pretty good. We kept most of our army alive. The garrison did take quite a bit more damage from that Dreadquake Mortar, but shouldn't be too much for us to deal with. Okay. Yeah, and we took out all of his Chaos Door Warriors. His army's going to be significantly weaker. Alright, let's go with that. We have enough gold, so let's just take the Army Replenishment. So we can finish him off as quickly as possible. Yeah, and we didn't get that Global Recruitment, though, which kind of sucks. We need to get that, uh, Dragon Prince building up as quickly as possible. What do we want to recruit, though, in the meantime? Oh, uh, we don't really need a noble, so I think we just go for growth. And we'll try to get this to tier 3. 
Let's see if we can march this lady over to get her some experience. Emmerich's doing pretty good. Alright, we are going to use Dragon Princess quite a bit, so I actually am thinking about getting Vanguard Master. We normally don't use a whole lot of chariots, but Dragon Princes do get quite good under Emmerich. But let's just make Emmerich more of a boss. <laughs> That's always a fun way to play. I'll go over with Replenishment. Oh, we have one more skill. And we'll start making our noble a little bit stronger. Dragon Prince. No we don't need to fight that one. Oh, wow. They actually took a lot of damage from that. I did not expect that. Yeah, we can heal most of it up, though. The last... We'll keep, we can't get there in one turn, so we're going to keep Emmerich one turn over here so that he can recruit. Next turn, I think we'll start putting her back so that she can start getting global recruitment. Yeah, let's just make Emmerich a boss. That's always fun. So get him higher melee defense so it makes him harder to kill. Same with you. And let's get to repairing this stuff. Hopefully we can move up and take down some of these settlements and get the ca uh, confederation with Kalidor before it gets taken out by the Dreadfleet, because that sometimes happens. Has been issued. Okay. A great adventure the armor of Kalidor. Yeah, we have no chance of fighting that one. The potential rewards are great. Let's go for so a point C masters if we're going to use a lot of Lothrin Sea Guard. Infused by Hoet's wisdom, carried by magic. Off to a rough start with this campaign, but I think we can definitely make it. All right, I'm not going to fight that one because we'll replenish. Or the intern. I claim it for Basically back to full. Yep, that's what we want to see. We are going to do some global recruitment, though. So we can get this army back up to full. Or maybe let's do it this way. Can you reach the settlement? Yes, Golden you can. The okay, Emmerich will come out. She's going to go in there, and she's going to do the global recruitment so that we can start channeling with Emmerich. We can't do it next, next turn. Uh, we can't do it this turn, but we can do it next turn. And she can start to get some healing. The most gifted. Okay, we're going to save for tier 2. Or tier 3, I mean. Hopefully around the same time we'll be able to get enough to get this to tier 3. The settlement, and then three more turns for that. We just got to save our money for the most part. Alright, there is another army coming this way, though. Who is it? Oh, it's the Ogres. Uh, those Othan Sea Guard will come in handy, though. We'll take Emmerich back down this way. Oh, and he is going to besiege it right away. Crap, that's going to shut off our global recruitment once again. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I don't know if she'll get in range. Himrick definitely can. Yeah, let me say that shouldn't be too bad. Himrick has lots of anti-large, so... Alright, we're gonna need the gold sooner or later, so let's do that one. Himrick can come and start doing the... Unfortunately, we're gonna play that game again. Alright, you cannot start channeling yet. That's unfortunate. Warrior Supreme. Yeah, off to a little slow start for Emric, but. Got the Ogres coming after us. We got the Legion of Asgore. And is this the. Uh, oh, and there's Legion of Asgore once again. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, we'll have to start some channeling stance so we can build up our magic. Actually, we don't. It doesn't really matter right now because we don't have a mage anymore, huh? That kind of sucks. That majorly sucks, actually. Purest sorcery. And we don't want to do either of these at the moment, so. Just have to wait this turn. He's probably going to raid this, but... Oops, I forgot about this. Yep, you were going to move a little bit. And if we could get some... Seaguard with shields, that'd make them even better. Relish this chance to look... Ready, Remy? Uh, they want 1100 gold though? No, that's not worth it. Okay, we can make it in one turn though. Move Emmerich's army first. Okay, it's wait for our other army to get in range so we have some healing. The winds. Summary execution. They will know Close victory shouldn't be that bad. Me. We can heal most of this. Get a full stack of Lothran Seaguard. You can start leveling up a little bit more. Let's get Shield of Safari. Um, and you don't have enough movement range to go into channeling stance yet. Okay, we're gonna want a garrison here. Just to protect that at all costs. Speed of a Surin is pretty good. Speed plus melee defense. What do we want? This one gives us armor and upkeep. We're not going to need the upkeep quite yet. Once we get onto Manathir, we'll have pretty high melee attack. Let's just do Valor of Ages. That's a good skill. It gives us lots of weapon strength. Or maybe we just do this not globally, because we can recruit some Residents of Renown as well. So we'll do it that way. And you're probably going to have to come back and defend against a Rebellion pretty soon. But maybe we can lock down with the uh, Rite of Assyrian. Yeah, quite a, uh, <laughs> quite a defensive and hard campaign for Emmerich. We try to be aggressive, but maybe that's not the right way to play this. Or maybe we should have gone for the Darkhold first instead of going straight for the Black Fortress. Boundless courage. Prince of Calador, without question. Gifted right, we need to start going into channeling stance. Mage marches. Loyalty. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get uh, the right of Isha for that immunity to attrition right now, but all right, we need to save up 6,000. Oh, I guess we have the... Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to have a rebellion, so let's do the Invocation of Assyrian. We can make up the other gold. We're going to get rid of the archers, so we actually have a positive... Income coming. Because with the Lothran Sea Guard, we might go into negative upkeep once again. Man, it'd be really nice if we had Underway Stance, but we're not Alethanar who has the Shadow Realms. That makes Alethanar really, really good if you haven't played his campaign very much. He has lots of benefits to his campaign over the other High Elves. Okay, I don't really care if you take attrition damage, but you, we cannot let you. Does this also get, um... Oops, can you get any farther than that? No? Okay, that's disappointing. There's the Dragon Encounter. If we need to, we can get rid of this. Yeah, we, let's get rid of this for now. That way we can use the funds on this right away.
Oh, is that another army of the Legion of Asgore? Two armies? Oh, how are they filling so many units? And it's Drazwith. Back, back for vengeance. All right, we gotta go back and take out these armies. Because I, I can't win the uh, siege battle without my main armies to go help. You may look upon me as you were. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. Two more turns so we can start that. Hi, Elven Archmage. All right, we do have the recruit rank for Lothan Seaguard now. I don't really like any of these very much besides this one, so let's get Trumpeteers. Then if we don't have any of these other tiers unlocked, we'll go after Militia Training. Let's see where they go. See if they go after the Black Fortress or whether they're going to go to the Ashridge Mountains. Oh, they're coming straight for us, huh? All right, we need to retreat so that we can get the Mage... Get her magic in as well. That'll help quite a bit. And I don't think he has any war machines or anything like that. It should be mostly basic units. Drazoth is pretty strong, though. He doesn't have a mount yet. I see the winds. Okay, we need to come a little bit closer so that we can actually get... Let's see if we can get you over here. That way we can get her attacking this one. Because he is in March Dance. A lot of Hobgoblins, but... But I think this would be a good place to end for this episode, and we'll have a good place to start in our next episode for episode 3. I hope you guys have been enjoying this campaign. It has been a little bit rougher than I expected, but uh, with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Foehammer, out.